this marriage started off really great. The separation and divorce was a huge surprise to this lady, although she should have seen it coming. Through her pregnancy, she felt her husband pulling away. She begged her husband to say what was going on, and that's when he finally said, I'm not in love with you anymore. She was completely crushed. A few days later, they were scheduled to go on a vacation with their best friends and their two families together. They went on the trip. It was absolutely awful. She thought it was really strange that her husband was staying up much later than she and her children. They got home. They had a conversation. My husband swore nothing was going on, and so did the person he was with. He was seeing the other woman during their family vacation. So she lost out on her really great friendship, and that November, her husband left. She was devastated. She was angry. For the next few years, he kept her hanging on with little crumbs that she kept coming back for because she was really desperate to work things out. She wanted her boys to have the ideal family life, what she thought was a perfect family. She thought that they deserved. He blamed the fallout of their marriage on her. And now she realizes that he was really just displacing his guilt for what he felt onto her. So for years, they weren't close, but they really worked hard to keep things together for their two children. But when he met his new wife, he didn't tell her. She found out from her two younger boys. So she was hurt and angry with him. It resulted in a lot of tension between the two of them and they really stopped talking and they hadn't even began their divorce proceedings at this time. She was still really hoping things were gonna work out. A year later, they met with a mediator. They put things into motion. She was angry with him. She was feeling so guilty that her children weren't going to have their dad with them all the time. So right now they're sharing legal custody. She has the majority of the time that was working for them. So over time, their agreement has loosened up considerably and these days it's really fluid, especially because now the children are older. But let's talk this. Their court date was the turning point. They both basically cried through the whole thing. She saw remorse in him during this time and they had an actual moment of a truthful conversation where he finally owned up to his part of not being faithful in the marriage and actually admitted his affair for the very first time to her. So that's when she was able to really forgive him and start trusting him. Again, we're talking years, five to six years after their marriage started to break. She decided one year on her birthday that she didn't want this drama anymore. She was over the pettiness and soon after reached out to her ex's new partner, asked if they could start over, at which point they did. Let me tell you where they are now. They agreed to celebrate their children's birthdays together. That turned into Halloween together. Christmas morning, all of them coming together. And you know what? Her family doesn't like this. Her children are very happy, but her siblings and her mom and dad don't feel that this is right. She doesn't care because what she's looking at is what's the most important for her two children. So her new husband, he was okay with the situation of her spending a lot of time with her ex's new family as well. Her new partner started joining them for Christmas morning as well. They have fun together. The youngest of this client, their children have become best friends with dad's new wives' children that came into the picture as well. Both of the boys look at the new partner's daughter as a sister. This family now has taken a trip. So we're talking about a family that had unfaithful relationship and unfaithful marriage. And today, years later, and again, like we talked two to five years. We're talking about seven in this situation. They all went on one trip together. They had an absolute blast in getting to experience that with her ex and their boys together and their new partners and their children was something years ago she never envisioned would happen. And sometimes we don't think this is on the table for us. And look how far this couple came through their divorce. So how did they get there? A big part of it was forgiveness. When she was able to forgive, she was able to open her heart again, things got better for their blended family. She ended up with the greatest love of her life. Her ex-husband is now with the love of his life. They both have blended families and they come together. 